Zapraszam, wywiad bez ściemy. Coach, how is to be in Poland for a few seasons without any trophy? You know when I came to Poland, yeah. in which club I came. Yeah. So, yeah, what kind I, of I expectation? Think that this question is more about you were, a few times you were really close. And Look, uh, th this feeling is not no, pleasure, you know, as we know. We are not working just for, to, to, to win the championship. It's true. So, uh, I have uh, many, many, many uh, targets and, and goals. Uh, you know, uh, in each club, uh, so to uh, to develop uh, the the club, uh, to be a part of this development, uh, uh, to encourage people for some, especially in in, in Pogon uh, about uh, the process yeah. of let's say development. You know, uh, create young players. You know, uh, to install a way of playing. Um, um, change mentality in the club. Change mentality, yeah. you know, to be the face of the club, yeah. to do some marketing things. It's not only just uh, winning the championship. And by the way, you know, in Pogon, you can also have different kind of opinion about my my work and my job. So it's 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 up to you and to each one to say, okay, place number three, two times, two medals. It's not enough. We were better. So I don't know if if. So, uh, but uh, you know, when you when you see, we, we make a progress every year. This um, uh, kind of uh, story is more important than just to win one trophy and then, you know, to disappear or to jump to the next club. Uh, do you regret rejected offered from HSV? I had a few times with HSV. Uh, because at least it's a huge club with a huge community of yes. supporters. But also second Bundesliga as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is, this is the club. Yes, yes, like. yes. Uh, there are some other clubs as well. So, but. but it was like that? There was an offer and you say no? Or it was not enough concrete? Mm, I would like to say probably not enough concrete. What doesn't work in your career, this is the sentence, mm -hmm. uh, that you are here not in the stronger league like Bundesliga or second Bundesliga. But something went wrong in, in no, the opinion of our so. viewers. No, this is my story. So it's my destiny. You know, I started, you know, I don't know if you know all my story. You know, I, I started somewhere else outside yes. uh, the business. So uh, very late and uh, so I fight it. I uh, worked very hard to get uh, one chance after one, the second, third. So finally I end up in the second Bundesliga. Mm. Yeah, the Kaiserslautern. Right? Hmm? Kaiserslautern. Yeah. I was in Kaiserslautern in, in the Amstadt in uh, Munich 60, uh, 80, and uh, in Duisburg, big traditional yeah. clubs. Um, uh, so then, you know, after eight months uh, break, uh, I had a few opportunities, but not the right feeling. Uh, and in that time you left Pogon, you had some offer from Germany? Yes, yes, yeah. uh, always, you know, so third league, second league, not Bundesliga, uh, also from somewhere from abroad, so, but um, Pogon was like a um, uh, coincidence, um, yeah. destiny, so it was, uh, I met the right people in the right time, good feeling, and I started this, this uh, chapter, you know, uh, and a lot of people around me thought that I'm crazy, you know, and they, they couldn't understand at that time. Uh, but I, a lot of times I manage myself by, by my feeling mm -hmm. you know, and impression, first impression. And as you see, now I'm here five years. So, and during all this time, I had some opportunities to move and to leave. But as I said, not the right feeling, not the right moment. And, you know, um, I had also uh, this year to make some decision between Legia and some other opportunities. And at the end, again, my 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 feeling, uh, my stomach said to me, "Okay, 
could be a good uh, good story. And what your stomach is saying about cooperation with Kamil Grosicki? <laughs> Kamil Grosicki? Yes, uh, how, oh. how do you remember that cooperation? I think we had a fantastic time. You know, I really uh, love this guy because he's somehow a little bit old school, old yeah. school soccer, soccer player, but still uh, young. We are, have the same, we are twins in our horoscope, you know. Uh, Okay. Um, uh, somehow uh, we, we had a, a, a good deep understanding between mm -hmm. each other. So and uh, um, when he came to Pogon, he came also late uh, in this season, and he needed also a little bit uh, more support and time mm -hmm. uh, to 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 bring him on 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 his level. So he worked very hard, and he delivered. So and. Uh, now he's back, he's on a national team uh, and uh, I'm happy for him and for his, for, for his story because we know all about Kamil Grosicki <laughs> and some rumors. Uh, for sure he, he made some mistakes in his yeah. life, but uh, he's an uh, influence in the team in a positive way. He has a strong personality, yeah. he's somehow crazy, yeah. uh, even on the pitch, uh, but you know, I would like to have more that kind of players uh, in my team, in extra class. Mm -hmm. uh, they give us something extra. What was the best football player you coached in your whole career? It's, it's not easy to answer, uh, to give you a clear answer, you know. Um, as you know, my, 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 my career, uh, I, I coached uh, in the second Bundesliga, so yeah. I didn't work in the Bundesliga. Um, I had many, especially young, young good players um, in Germany. I worked with uh, Willy Orban, who is playing now in, in Leipzig. Uh, Kerim Demirbay was playing in uh, Bayer Leverkusen, and, um, and some other guys who are now even became the status of the national player. And, uh, I like to work uh, with all kinds of players, and uh, I had in my 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 my, uh, my career um, uh, a lot of. Uh, um, opportunities to, to work with high potential young players like Valukiewicz, like mm -hmm. Piotrowski, like uh, Kozlowski. If there is any player from Pogon in which you would like to take here in Legia? Pogon has an interesting team with very good players and very good characters. I think. Charaktere. Um, ich denke, um, Uns würde ein, ein Sebastian Kowalczyk sehr gut tun. Ich, bin, äh, ich habe mit ihm fünf Jahre gearbeitet. Das ist ein, ein außergewöhnlicher Charakter, ein sehr guter Spieler. Äh, jemand, der zu Lege passen würde, von seinem Profil her. Äh, ein Spieler, auf den man sich verlassen kann. Ein Spieler, der nie verletzt ist. Ein Spieler, der jedes Jahr sich gesteigert hat. Äh, er wurde besser und besser. Er ist jetzt auch immer noch ein junger Spieler und ich glaube, der würde uns ganz gut tun in, in, in der Art und Weise, wie wir spielen wollen, wie ich spielen möchte. Aber es gibt natürlich auch andere Spieler, die sicherlich von ihrer Qualität äh, auch bei uns spielen könnten. Do you see problems in the fact that uh, your teams has a problem with that strongest part of league? Like with the strongest teams and your teams losing sometimes those games? I know all facts and all background, uh, uh, let's say, information. I think we were very successful. So uh, losing games um, against, let's say, a top level team is nothing special. So in the yeah. time, uh, since, I'm in, since I'm here in Poland and this year five seasons, this is my season number six, I think Legia won three times the champion. Yeah. Lech Posen once and Piast. So, and uh, comparing all process and all development, okay, still Legia is the top club with Lech Posen. So there is another club, uh, Rakov Sestohova. They're making a fantastic job, you know, all in. But they have a different story and different history, you know, and probably also different targets. You have always to go a little bit more deeper yeah. if you want to really find and even then you will not find a, a clear explanation you know but if you want to, to explain something and uh, to sum up some things uh, you have to go deeper yeah yeah so because 
I know these questions I faced a few times when I was yeah. in Kaiserslautern. Yeah? Okay. So a coach. We played in the, it was my second season. We changed the team. We were the youngest team in the league at the beginning of the season. Let's say probably the, over 60-70% of all experts and said, hey, probably they will play on the bottom. Yeah. Very dangerous. We played on the top for promoting to Bundesliga. So at the end, we didn't, uh, uh, we didn't challenge this. So because of a lot of circumstances, too young, too less experience, uh, too much uh, distraction around the club, uh, transfer already made before the season finished, and then, then, you know, and then they said, okay, uh, oh, why they are not promoted? We are Kaiserslautern. So, a few months ago, uh, before, uh, they talked like, hey, they should be happy if they stay in the league, you know. And uh, so, if you know all, all, all background, if you know the circumstances, uh, if you go in detail uh, and make analyze, I don't want to say I'm without mistakes. I also okay. make mistakes. Still, I, I make mistakes here. Yeah. So, I will make because it's, uh, it's, it's a human it's beings part. Exactly. Yeah. And, uh, but, uh, you know, at the end, the result finally, and this is what I like in soccer, uh, is let's say the feedback of the level, mm -hmm. the feedback of the value of the team. Yeah. yeah? So the feedback of, um, yeah, of, of, of facts and data at the end. Yeah. So sometimes it happens like Leicester City, so like Piast, so it was one season um, and uh, so it happens. This is also the, the, the very nice thing about soccer, yeah. Yeah? Uh, because it's uh, not uh, how to say, predictable. Yeah. Yeah? Uh, but in general, I speak about in general, why Legia won seven times? Uh, the championship in the last 10 years because they had the biggest budget. Yeah, yeah? the best players. It's uh, Rosenborg in, Germany, in Norway, Slavia in Prague. This yes. is a similar so, case everywhere. So, and this season, if you, uh, if you, if you uh, take a look on the transfer market, Lega is on the fourth place about the value of the team. Yeah. So we will see if we will end up on the fourth place, on the first, second, third. I don't know So uh, at that moment. Only what I can uh, promise all, all, all people, all Legia fans, that I will give my best, as always. And I put all my efforts and all my energy just to challenge uh, this club. How you can explain uh, your nationality case? German, Austrian, uh, Balkanian? Because it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's crazy mix. All in, all in, all in. Um, yes, all in. So um, I grew up in, in Germany, um, spent there my time. So um, first three years uh, I was with my grandmother. In that time it was Yugoslavia. So if you if you ask me, um, your roots uh, are from Yugoslavia. Uh, so I, I uh, because I grew up um, in Germany and uh, um, until '91. Uh, before the, the civil war starts, uh, it was Yugoslavia. So, mm -hmm. so I was 91, 20 years old. So this is, let's say, what uh, is staying in my mind. Yeah. You know, this time it was a good time. You know, so I was a child, uh, my childhood uh, during the summertime and uh, the vacation time I was there. You know, and, uh, mm -hmm. So after when the shit happens, um, uh, I was 20, 21, 22, so I prefer to, to travel somewhere else. Yeah. So, and uh, I have a German passport, and um, I can't even explain what does it mean to feel like German, like Poland, Polish guy, or like a Balkan guy. So, um, so I'm a mix and uh, citizen of the world. Exactly, exactly. The favorite drink, TV series, and book. Alcohol drink. Yeah, uh, I like to drink um, white wine. So in, from time to time, also whiskey. Me or with Coke? Uh, depends on. <laughs> depends <laughs> on. In Pogon, we used uh, to drink in you know, a stuff after after a winning game um, with Coke. Yeah, but also, but uh, 
I like, I like, I like whisky. Kiedy któryś z nich odkręci kran w kiblu, ma z niego płynąć Johnny Walker. Rozumiesz? You watching some series or, or a lot, a lot. So depends on the on 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 the time. So at, at that moment, I do not watch any series, but um, any favorite one? I started my first. First really long series was House of Cards. I started. You know. <laughs> I'm uh, not so surprised. To and be I get addicted, you know. Uh, and uh, so, but uh, uh, I like also to 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 to, to watch documentaries. Mm -hmm. There are and, a lot of good and books. Uh, oh, books. Uh, uh, mostly are let's say some about about sports, sport psychology, and mm -hmm. uh, team dynamic process, yeah. such kind of. Yeah. There is also a funny question. Uh, pierogi or schabowy? Pierogi. <laughs> With something especially like uh, um, potatoes or meat or... No? Doesn't matter. Just pierogi. Yes, I like. Mm -hmm. uh, when you see yourself in the next five and ten years, do you have any special club w w where you would like to work for? Or? Mm. No, I don't live in the past and also not in the future. The, 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 like the Michael Jordan says, be here right now. It, here and now, you know, it, it's yeah. easy to say, you know, but to experience that, uh, not to be distracted, uh, to uh, experience that uh, day by day and let's say yeah. hour by hour, and minute by minute, it's not that easy. So, but honestly, I, I do not think uh, uh, too much about future. So, I, in Poland, you know, a lot of times I told the guys, future is now.